Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I have here an HP Pavilion, which is an old PC and um, we're just going to open it and change the thermal paste. So these computers, they're not that easy to open and fix. So let's give out our best and try. <coughs> so this cable, it has a problem where it disconnects because this computer once fell off and the cable got a bit bent. So, um, yeah, let's um, open it up here just for you to hear the noise he's doing while he's on. And this is on the start so let's start to open it up and put new thermal paste clean what we can and let's do it so this is basically a tutorial video because these computers are quite complex to disassemble so let's get to it so we start by removing all the Phillips screws on the back We now remove the RAM. And we now need to move to the front of the computer or the top if you wish and remove that little sound area We now go back to the bottom, remove the screw that holds the keyboard in place. We now disconnect all the cables. And we remove the screws that hold the screen in place.
And again on the back we need to remove these two support screws that hold the touchpad. We now have to pull with a bit of force just to disconnect this metal board here. We are finally in. Now need to undo a few screws here on the board. And to remove the board we lift it from the right to the left and start pulling gently to the side until it disconnects completely. Then we need to unplug the cables below the board. We now clean the heat sink and remove it. So this thermal paste now looks like cement, so we need to give it a good scrub. This has never been opened so it doesn't look that bad, which is nice, the cooler has very very few dust in it. So. We now give it a proper clean with isopropyl alcohol.
and now we will apply a little bit of thermal paste on the CPU and we rub it with our spatula And we put again our little drop just to avoid bubbles of air when we connect the heatsink again. Just a quick inspection here of the plug, the power plug, just to see if it's the problem is there or on the cable, and it's on the cable definitely. So this is quite old, the plastic is dried, so this little this broke and now we need to glue it back together because this is this holds a screw so we will need it in place And we reassemble everything back together.
So let's see if we killed it. We have not. It turned on. The drive also comes out. And the Windows is starting. Excellent. The fan noise is still here, but not as much as it was before. So I think we did a nice job. Keyboard is also working, so that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up subscribe the channel and I'll see you again. Bye guys!